Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the lovers clarified by the four of swords, we have the emperor, we have the six of swords clarified by the devil, and we have temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini, or an Aries, or a Capricorn, or a Sagittarius. Well, yeah, you could be dealing with uh, any of those signs, because we've got major arcana cards for all of them. Um, speaking of major arcanas, we have uh, four major arcana cards out of six cards. So this is going to be a very important weekend for you air signs and I see that the uh, main theme is going to be making a very tough choice about something. It could be about love or it could be about work business finances. It could be about a trip. I don't really see anything in particular suggesting that one of the areas that I just mentioned will stand out. It could be about anything. Like I said, what's important here is you'll be facing a really tough choice. Uh, so, um, the first card that came out is the Lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini or another Gemini if you are a Gemini. But I think the Lovers in this case is all about this really, really tough choice. It's clarified by the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is somebody who is taking a break to uh, digest the information or to think it through. Um, especially if it's an offer coming your way. It could be an ex reaching out to you because I see the devil right there and uh, temperance. And we'll touch on that in just a second. Um, but um, you will be sort of uh, encouraged <laughs> to make a decision at the, by the end of the weekend because we have the Emperor. The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with or the Emperor is uh, you needing to step up, you needing to take control of the situation and make a decision. Then we have uh, the Six of Swords clarified by the Devil. The Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with or for some of you, you will be making a decision to go for it or to start something new with this person or to reconcile with an ex because you just can't shake them. You, this person is on your mind all the time or this is just too tempting for you to pass on. You know, as Oscar Wilde said, uh, I can resist anything except temptation. So it could be the case here. <laughs> How, however, for another group of you, you will be making a decision to move away from this person or to reject the offer. That's what the Six of Swords could be indicating here as well. And uh, the Devil in this case, it could still be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but you'll realize that if you were to engage with uh, into some kind of a situation or if you were to get back together with this person, it's not going to be any different from the way it used to be because the devil could be something really toxic you'll realize that this person or the situation is going to hurt you it's, so, it's just something very toxic and tempting right now but in the long run um, you will be screwed pretty much temperance on the bottom of the deck uh, this is either a Sagittarius you're dealing with or temperance is all about reconciliation for those of you who decide to go back to their ex or um, Temperance is an advice for you to sort of take it easy, you know, don't rush into this. Um, just relax, be patient with yourself and uh, do think about it. Think about it long, think about it hard, sleep on it. Because the Four of Swords clarifying the lovers is also about somebody, you know, sleeping on the idea or sleeping on the offer. And uh, see how you feel in the morning. So like I said, this is going to be a very important uh, weekend for you, Air Signs, for major arcana cards. It could be about an offer to get back together with somebody, or it could be a brand new offer coming from um, somebody new. And uh, you'll have to make a decision uh, whether you want to get involved with it or not. But what I do see here, see here is that it will be 100% up to you what you want to do here. So um, do your research. And uh, if this is an X, um, you know, as I always say, we are in each other's lives to make each other's lives better. And if that doesn't happen, we, we should move on.
right? So if this is an X, just uh, think about it. Is it really something you want? Is there a reason why it didn't work out in the past? Do you think it will work out this time around? And I'm not trying to make you lean towards any of the situation. I'm just, you know, giving you uh, food for thought. All right. So that's what I got for you. Gemini, we have the Moon, we have Strength, we have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Five of Wands and the Chariot, and uh, we have the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo or a Cancer. So, three major arcanas, a very important weekend for you as well, and I think you'll be leaving someone behind. Someone who's uh, crossed your line for the last time. Somebody who pushed your buttons for the last time. So it's like the last nail in the coffin. Either at some point during the weekend or right before the weekend. So uh, you just, you've had it with this person. And uh, some of you could be literally packing and get, getting the heck out of Dodge. Others are just uh, leaving the person behind and uh, you're cutting all communication with this person. However, uh, on the way out, you could have some kind of a confrontation. I don't know who is going to start it. Or perhaps the two of you are going to get into the last argument and uh, you're going to say, you know what, screw you. I've done so much for you. You only want to start a fight with me. You only see negativity. You only tell me the things where I did something wrong. Um, but I know what I'm worth and I'm just not having it with you anymore. Right? Hmm. Yeah. The moon, the first card that came out is uh, either a Pisces you're dealing with, but the moon could be uh, basically you being kind of sad, being kind of depressed, um, not necessarily just over the weekend, but about this whole situation or about this connection or this relationship. Strength is uh, you having the strength to overcome it and get the heck out of there. You could be dealing with the Leo, because strength is the personal Leo card. But uh, the main idea, like I said, you are you don't want to deal with this crap anymore. Because uh, then we have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Five of Wands and the Chariot. The Chariot is the personal um, Cancer card, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Or the Chariot is all about you, you know, getting out of there really, really quickly. You're not looking back anymore. You've had it, you're done. This saga is finally coming to an end. But um, the good news is that I think you're going to be, you're going to start feeling much better very soon because uh, it'll be like a relief for you. You'll feel liberated here. The Chariot is a, is a very positive card. It's one of the victory cards. Um, this is uh, you realizing that this person was not good for you. They were just dragging you down and they were only causing issues and sadness for you. And uh, you're going to feel very happy very soon after, Gemini. Libra. We have the King of Wands, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, um, I think you're dealing with an ex, or somebody who is coming back from the past, uh, but that person hurt you in the past. Um, so, this person is either a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this person is very fiery, very passionate, uh, perhaps they're too fiery and passionate for you, or they like to share their passion with other people. I don't know what the story was, but uh, this person is not somebody whom you are looking forward to having a conversation or a connection with. However, they are, because the next card that came out is, three, is the Three of Cups. It was a card of a union, this is a card of a celebration. So perhaps you could be running into this person at some kind of an event, if that is at all possible, considering what's going on in the world. But um, if this is somebody coming back from the past, then this person wants to reunite with you. And uh, we have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I deliberately skipped the other two cards. <laughs> the Page of Swords, I think in this case, this is you being on the defense. Uh, the Page of Swords, this is uh, an air card, right? You are an air sign. I'm not trying to belittle you, <laughs> but the Page of Swords, if you take a closer look at it, uh, this person's got their sword out and they're sort of leaning backwards, and, but they're still ready to strike with their sword because they're on defense, right? And uh, 
then we have uh, the Nine of Wands clarified by the Five of Pentacles right next to the deck. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior and the Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody who feels left out in the cold. So perhaps that's the way this person made you feel in the past and that's why you are just completely shutting down when it comes to communicating with this person or um, you are deciding to leave this person out in the cold for what they did to you or perhaps you just you know you're gonna tell them you know what um, thanks but no thanks and uh, you're sending this person back to the past where they belong Aquarius we have the four of cups clarified by the devil we have temperance we have the two of swords and we have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Sagittarius somebody will be uh, trying really hard to uh, bury the hatchet with you to reconcile with you to get back together with you but unfortunately for them the answer is going to be no you realize what kind of person you're dealing with this is a very toxic codependent situation or perhaps this person is just not good for you and uh, you have learned your lesson and uh, you are telling them no so the first card that came out is the four of cups this is a card of a rejection and it's clarified by the devil the devil could be a capricorn you're dealing with or the devil is um, something or someone perhaps very toxic right so you know what they are up to even if they try to tell you everything that uh, they have prepared for this occasion and I have a feeling that they are preparing right now for it um, basically they'll throw everything they've got against the wall and see what sticks but not unfortunately for them nothing is gonna stick <laughs> temperance right there is either a Sagittarius you're dealing with or temperance about healing or reconciliation that's what they want with you or temperance is uh, you basically remaining calm Perhaps they will try to stir up some emotions within you, remind you how uh, the two of you spent time together, how you had really good times together, but uh, you will remain calm. Um, they will also tell you that uh, they're still in love with you, and I'm describing the two of cups right there on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> but uh, fortunately for you, nothing is going to work, because uh, then we have the two of swords right there. This is uh, you staying closed off, and uh, you're sending this person back to the past where they belong. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.